the issue is is language uh, at, at the very center of it. And, and the reason is this. We met with the Paramedic Association of New Brunswick to get a feel for what's going on here. If it, is it a recruitment issue? Is it re, you know, retaining paramedics? What, what's happening? And they assured us that there is more than enough paramedics in New Brunswick that are willing and want to work. But they want to work permanent, full-time jobs. It's this idea where you can get a few weeks here or you can get a six-month gig, uh, but after that, you know, you, you, you may not have that, that full permanent work. It's, so it's, those are the hiring practices currently? Yes, for people that are not bilingual, for, par for paramedics that are not bilingual, Thank right? You. If you're bilingual, no problem. And what's happening is the bilingual paramedics, on the other hand, they're being overworked. So because, you know, the government has put this high threshold on bilingual staff, Bilingual paramedics are being overworked. Unilingual paramedics are not getting full-time permanent jobs. So what they've done, the government's come out, and they're, they're, they're calling it a, rec a recruitment issue, that there's not enough paramedics. Well, that's, that's total hogwash. There's all yeah. kinds of paramedics. That's not the truth. But what they're doing is they're offering the paramedic course through the Francophone Community College. Now, if, if someone wanted to take the, the paramedic course in French, they can go to the community college, and if they fall under the threshold of the tuition access bursary program, they can essentially get their tuition free. Mm -hmm. So you can go to be a paramedic in the French community college, receive your free um, uh, tuition, and off you go. The problem is, there is first of all, there are no paramedic courses offered in, in any of the English uh, community colleges or universities. So where are they getting their training? They have to go to a private college. So they have to pay out of pocket, which is much more than the public training that's okay. being offered in the, in the Francophone Community College. And I want to be clear about this, Dennis. We don't oppose Francophone Community Colleges offering the paramedic course. We encourage them to do it. Yeah. But it has to be equal. You, you have to be able to say, look, we're going to offer it in the Francophone Community Colleges, but we're also going to offer it in the Anglophone uh, Community Colleges, uh, you know, New Brunswick Community Colleges as well.